So let's bring it out. Number co host, former White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, great to see you again. Good to see you. All right, first off, when, let's build off what Secretary Blinken didn't say. He said, I had nothing to do with it. Mike Morrell said he did. Where does the rubber hit the road? Mike Morrell called him the impetus. Yeah. And you heard Antony Blinken there have the audacity to say, Mike Morrell's testimony confirms what I'm saying. I mean, that's the opposite of what he's saying. He's saying I wasn't involved. Mike Morrell says you're the impetus. And, you know, when we extract ourselves from this, what this all adds up to, Brian, is you have Joe Biden, who his campaign surrogates were guys like Clapper, Brennan, the intel community, I would call them the deep state. Those are his campaign surrogates who basically said Russian disinformation and then the F FBI went and warned Facebook and Twitter, hey guys, be on alert for Russian disinformation. And it affected an election, no doubt. What are your thoughts about our colleague Dan Hoffman at the time was presented with that letter and he said, I'm not gonna sign this. I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen the laptop. Who wrote this letter? I'm not gonna sign it. Why? Not because he works here or didn't work here. His reputation. Why would you put your reputation on the line you know nothing about? Yeah. Because it, it speaks to the top tiers, and I don't want to disparage, you know, the, the hardworking men and women at the FBI, the rank and file, but the top tiers of the FBI were full of leftist Democrats. There's no two ways about it when you look at the people who signed on to that letter. Uh, they had two intents. Mike Morrell testified one of the intents of the letter was to get Joe Biden reelected to help him ahead of the debate. So that's challenging testimony to get past. Hunter Biden decides he's going to go, uh, he's going to battle against his, the mother of his baby because he's pending too much child support. At which time the judge says, I need to see your financials. Yeah. What's going on here? And don't overredact what you give. Uh, you know, it's high, price, uh, high price legal team, do they know what they're getting into here? I don't think so. And isn't that the irony that this case about a paternity case, and I feel so badly for that little girl, four-year-old named Navy Joan, who is unfortunately the victim in all of this, but this could be the undoing of Hunter Biden if we see the redactions, if in fact it shows us which bank accounts led where. I remember on Outnumbered when we covered this story, James Comer, some of his information, we had to put up a flow chart of the bank accounts, where the money went. So look, we don't know what we don't know, but I'd love to see what's in the redactions. It could be helpful to Republicans in Congress. Maybe we could find out how much his art is worth. Because when he <laughs> says he has no income, uh, well, you yeah. do have income, you're right. How much you sell for? I don't know. How much things does he know? He doesn't remember being with the stripper. Right. He doesn't remember a lot of, if it was his laptop, he doesn't remember. Think about that. Yeah. And now he says he doesn't know how much he made off his paintings which were apparently going for about half a million dollars. And that's another thing we could learn, who these buyers were of his art. I mean, who's paying half a million dollars for, like, modern art that looks like finger paint? I don't right. know. We may find out. I'm not sure. Uh, real quick, are you surprised that uh, Governor Youngkin is not getting in uh, to the race, says he will not run. Does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise me because normally you hear the drip and the drop of an exploratory committee in the works. Look, he is a very talented guy. He, he won in what is a purple state, and he did so well, uh, exceedingly well on the issue of education. So I think it's a loss for the Republican field. He has a bright future. I'm not surprised he's not running, though. Yeah, you got Pompeo surprised me. Mm -hmm. And Glenn Youngkin, I think when he originally won, people thought it would be a shoe him because he's stuck to one term. Uh, we'll see what happens maybe next cycle. Kaylee McEnany, do you mind working again at 12? And, yes, I will work again at noon and into the evening. Yes. Uh, and outnumbered. <laughs> yes, Thank you very right. much. Thank that's you. true. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.